that's a pretty old-fashioned cell phone. Modern ones only weigh about a pound and are no more than 12 inches long. Bobby must have had himself a sandwich. And there's the wrapping paper still lying there. The piano seems to me to be at least a hundred years old. Mom got a lot of pleasure from it. She can used to play piano very well. I don't play any instrument at all. And if I could, then I'd rather play bass in a grunge band than a piano in a castle. This castle must be a few hundred years old. It would only ever have been heated with fireplaces back then. The chimney probably went through several rooms so that it could give off heat all over. It doesn't look like there's been a fire here recently, but there are still a few charred bits of wood in the stove. I'll take one of the smaller pieces. Ah, oh, now my fingers are all black. A finely carved wooden chest now are my things in there? Locked. <sighs> yeah, well it would have been too simple otherwise. The lock in the lid kind of suggests that it's not going to be easy to get the lid open. Yep, so it is. The carving shows small circles over a line. Hmm. Perhaps some kind of pitch information? The circles are recessed into the wood. That means that they must be able to be traced on the paper using a piece of charcoal. Hey, worked well. You can easily recognize the circles as well as the lines. Could the circles on the chest be simplified notes? Notes which just give the pitch, not the duration? If they really are notes, then there's a starting point missing. Perhaps you can begin anywhere, and just have to pay attention to the relative pitch of the notes with one another. I'm guessing that the chest isn't as old as it looks at first glance. As far as I know, numerical locks like this haven't been around for long. You have to enter the right three-figure combination. Only, what is it? done something. Got it. Combination worked. All right. There's my stuff. All right. I'll just take this stuff. I probably won't need the rest anymore. seems to have withstood the impact well.
Oh, great. Wonderful. I'm in the middle of nowhere. The next house could be miles away, and Tom could be back at any minute. Huh. I think I better find out where I am first. If Tom does come back, I can always jump into the bushes. The boy's around 12 years old, I guess. Looks like he could be watching me. Hey, kid! I know you're there. <laughs> come out, I'm not gonna hurt you. You couldn't anyway. I'm much too quick for you. If you say so. I'm Darren Michaels, a mighty physics student. I'm Van Helsing. Whoa, uh, the vampire hunter? I always thought you were a bit older, sir. <laughs> Can you tell me where I am? What's this castle? Eh? It's the old Gordon's place. The Gordon's? From Willow Creek? Willow Creek? I don't know what you're talking about. Sir Richard and Lady Eleanor used to live here. And where are we exactly? Where? In Wales. Oh, great. I saw some toys in the castle. Are they yours? Yes, all my things. And my car. I got that for my birthday. I daren't go in there since those men have been there. You better not. They're dangerous. Are they werewolves? Uh, no. Uh, but they kidnapped me. Cool. Have you seen the two men who are living in the castle now? Yes. Nasty men. <laughs> you bet. One of them chased me. Said he would call the police if I don't disappear. I'm sure he wouldn't do that. The woman was much nicer. Which woman? The pretty one. I see. Was here a few weeks ago. She was snooping around and asked me about the summer house and the laboratory. And then she went. She took some blood samples with her. Strange. Uh, did, did she tell you her name or what she planned to do with them? She needed the blood for research. Angelina said. Whoa, what? For research. Maybe she's a vampire hunter, too. W what did the woman look like? Well, like a woman. Pretty. Like this? Did she look like this? Yes, that's her. But she had long blonde hair when she was here. I liked her much more like that. Long blonde hair? A and when did you say she was here? It was before my birthday. About four weeks ago. Long before we coincidentally bumped into each other in Biddeford. <laughs> what kind of summer house is that? It's all ruins. Blew up. Really? Yes. Long time ago. My father says that old Sir Richard died in the explosion. He had his laboratory in the summer house. He was a scientist. I think he was a vampire. Really? Of course. He experimented with blood. Who else does that kind of thing? Maybe you're right. And they gave up the castle after the explosion? Maybe. That was ten years ago. Since I've been coming here, the castle has always been empty. What exactly did the woman do when she was here? Looked at the castle and the summer house. Especially the house. Do you know what she did there? Looked for something, and I think she tried to get into the old laboratory. At some point, she gave up and started searching at the tomb in the marshes. I had to go home, because it was starting to get dark. When I came back the next day, she walked past me, coming from the summer house. She had a bag of blood in her hand and was very happy. And then, she left. Listen, uh, Van Helsing. Can you do me a favor and keep watch for the car and, and the other man coming back? I need to have a look around here and, uh, I need a lookout. Of course. Nothing gets past me. Excellent.
It can't possibly be a coincidence. Angela snoops around the Gordon estate, and I discover a connection to this very family in Biddeford. Did Angelina lie to me? The question is, did she have a good reason, or does she work for the Order? I can't leave here before I found some answers.